Hi guys, I'm here in astonish astonishingly beautiful Hong Kong. And did you know that it feels tropical here, the temperature? It's, uh, it's warm here, so wow. So uh, yeah, um, a little um, video on the markets. Um, Monero uh, has pumped quite well uh, to 0 0.3 BTC and um, that, um, that cash is, is still half its all-time high um, and, um, and uh, Bitcoin cash is about uh, 0 0.1415 um, Bitcoin um, but um, yeah, it's happening. The altcoins are catching up with Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been going sideways now. Uh, it started sideways movement, so it looks pretty good, I think. Um, my plan to exit uh, or to sell off a decent uh, piece of my alts um, uh, is in progress. Um, but I, I want to wait till the total market cap goes to above 150 billion to about 170 180 billion if that happens i will do a last sale of alts and after that uh, to down to 20 percent now uh, my crypto portfolio is up to uh, 30 31 percent again uh, last time i scaled to 22 percent but it has grown again and uh, and now um and and then maybe it will grow continue to grow then to 35 percent maybe even 40 but then I will basically cut it in half to 20% again. That will be my last time uh, of rebalancing. But I'm so grateful uh, for this bull market. I've been able to just make a lot of money and secure it in fiat. I know fiat is trash, but uh, sometimes uh, fiat is, uh, is king. Uh, and uh, and uh, it's when fiat is perceived as trash that it's actually a great buy. Uh, but um, and that's today of course in the crypto world uh, nobody likes fiat uh, as it has been a terrible investment compared to uh, crypto and so it's uh, it's of course very painful uh, look if you look how 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 few crypto fiat buys these days um, but um, yeah, that's a great time to cash out eh, when nobody else is. And, and I have the impression very few people are selling for fiat in the crypto world. Very few. Um, also something I think is very important, I've said in, in past videos, but like why I think, I'm quite convinced Bitcoin will not go as high. And I could be totally wrong in this, eh, but I don't expect $8,000 Bitcoin in this bubble uh, because... Um, every bubble in the past uh, and that was even when Bitcoin was still uh, like had no scaling problems every time a new bubble happened uh, Bitcoin went up a lot less um, and uh, and this is uh, very important to see uh, for example um, the bubble in 2011 it went up to 32 dollars bitcoin from 1 to 32 then it corrected for two years or one year and then it started to go up again from 32 it corrected to three dollars and then it went up to 255 so what you see is compared to the all-time high 32 to 255 that's times eight so it went times eight um, if you look at the all-time highs but then it corrects from 255 to 55 and uh, then it went up to a new into a new bubble to 1255 uh, and um, and that uh, was uh, compared to the previous all-time high that was 255 a new bubble sorry of 1150 and so that's times four only huh? so it went times eight yeah, from 30 to 255 then it goes from 255 to 100 as uh, to 2150 as only times four eh? so you see that uh that's half that's half eh? uh half uh, only half as powerful um 
and and so actually you see before that that that, that before the bubble from one dollar to thirty two dollars there was another smaller bubble uh, and there the all time high was one point two uh, bit uh, one point two dollars per bitcoin so the first bubble basically went from uh, times thirty two the second one times eight the 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 the, the, the third times four if you always compare the all time highs so that's why I think this bubble will not go more than times eight the all time high that's really unlikely it's just almost impossible times four is possible um, but it's not likely because in the meantime what you will also see if you study market caps is market cap is always ten times higher in each bubble and so that's why of course it goes down up less I mean that's that's how I understand that's how I explain it and uh, and so this has been the case again today and so um, I think compared to previous all-time high 1150 it can go times uh, four uh, that would be uh, five thousand uh, dollars but that's that's really a very positive estimate and and has a, a low probability if you look at it from that perspective um, uh, of course, I agree. If you look at parab uh, the parabolic chart, uh, sorry, the the logarithmic chart, then you see that this bubble has been very weak, the Bitcoin bubble compared to previous rises, uh, and that's very true. Um, but but I think that um, you ha don't have to look at the Bitcoin only. You have to look at crypto uh, as a total because Bitcoin has lost market share to other cryptos. And if you look at the total crypto market cap on a logarithmic scale you see that this bubble uh, does count uh, it can see it very clearly on the logarithmic shell scale so um, um, this bubble has uh, delivered um, and, and 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 this uh, I think we might see a surprise in Bitcoin cash uh, still in this bubble I think uh, alts uh, and Bitcoin cash is of course it's not really an alt uh, it's a fork of Bitcoin but it may really, uh, I think, uh, it has a good chance to go up uh, even at the end of this bull market, that would be the next month, uh, uh, in the blow-off phase. I think some alts, like uh, Monero is already happening, it might, 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 yeah, I see new all-time highs versus Bitcoin, uh, but I think Bitcoin Cash may also show the the 0 0.4 uh, valuation that has already shown uh, on, on its first day of trading it may show that again um, and, and if it does then of course the total market cap of all coins will go to uh, about 180 to 200 billion uh, but I think I, I'm, I'm feeling so bullish about this Bitcoin cash story because this has been really missing um, uh, this has been a, a real a real this has been, yeah, this is, a, I think, an amazing, amazing thing that it's happening, that finally uh, a Bitcoin it combines the strength of its brand with decent management, uh, good decisions to scale on chain. Um, I mean, just to keep transaction fees low, that's very important. Um, and um, yeah. Let's hope that uh, we see that also in the, in the valuation of that coin. Um, isn't it amazing here? I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. Bye.